Hi, boys and girls, lesson 14. Now we're gonna be comparing fractions by reasoning about the size of the unit. So you really need to think about how many parts and the size of the parts. This goes back to that multiplication where in fractions, when you multiply, your parts get smaller, but the number of parts get bigger. So think of the pieces of what we're talking about now. So we're gonna be comparing using greater than, less than, or equal. We're gonna be looking at one fourth and one fifth. So again, think of that candy bar. If you have a candy bar broken into four parts, those parts are gonna be bigger than if you were to break them into five parts. So think of sharing that candy bar with, a friend, with some friends. If you and some friends, there's only four of you sharing it, you're going to get bigger pieces. But if you're sharing with five people total, you're going to get smaller pieces. So if that's the case, one fourth is a bigger fraction than one fifth. Over here, now use this to help you with this because look, A and B, it's there for a reason. 3 fourths and 3 fifths. This looks confusing because you have the same number 3 here, but think about it. If these parts are bigger than these parts, you're going to have more chocolate because the parts are bigger. So 3 bigger parts or 3 smaller parts. You still have more chocolate here, even though it's the same number of parts. The pieces are bigger. All right, now we've got one tenth and one twelfth. So think about sharing that candy bar with a total of 10 people, sharing that candy bar with a total of 12 people. You're going to have bigger parts, bigger pieces when you share it with less people. So one tenth is going to be bigger than one twelfth. Now over here, use what you understand. The tenths are bigger than the twelfths. We've got seven tenths and seven twelfths. It's the same number of pieces for each, but the pieces here are bigger. So seven tenths is bigger than seven twelfths. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to skip down to this one because they've kind of modeled that one for you here. All right. So we are looking at, I think this is the same one. Okay. So we're looking at 7 elevenths and comparing it to 7 thirteenths. So if you know that 1 eleventh is bigger than 1 thirteenth, kind of like what we just did up here, right? I'm choosing to know what how big the pieces are. So I'm to, doing 1 eleventh and 1 thirteenth. I know that 1 eleventh is bigger than 1 thirteenth. So... 7 elevenths, ha, huh, 7 eleven, is going to be bigger than 7 thirteenths because the parts are bigger. See that? So we're still talking about the sizes of the parts. You have the same number of parts, but these parts are bigger. Okay, let's do one more over here. 6 sevenths and 12 fifteenths. So let's take a look. 6 sevenths, think of 1 seventh. And think of 1 fifteenth, right? 1 seventh is going to be bigger than 1 fifteenth. Okay? So 6 sevenths, 6 sevenths, half of 7 is 3.5, is 3.5. Three three Oops, 3.5. And half of 15 is going to be um, seven and a half. So 12 is going to be um, bigger than seven and a half, bigger than half. But here, this is going to be, sorry, I lost my head. This is gonna be also way bigger than half. So we're gonna have six sevenths is still gonna be larger than 12 fifteenths. Another way to do this is you can take your 6 sevenths and you can multiply it by the same number. So let's see what happens when we multiply both of these by 2. We get 12 fourteenths. 
And now we can compare 12 fourteenths to 12 fifteenths. And we know that 12 fourteenths, because what 12 fourteenths is, it's the same as this, okay? It's their equivalent. And we know that 12 fourteenths is greater than 12 fifteenths because these pieces are bigger.